is going on my people welcome back to the channel i'm your boy to the dream and welcome back for yet another edition of singles of the week if you're not familiar this is a segment where i like to break down some of the newest and hottest tracks that just dropped this past friday i'm gonna give you my thoughts my opinions on them let's get right into these new singles first we're gonna talk about this new nia archives dropping us the track conveniency sticking to her styles of samba and r&b sounding pretty solid as usual i thought she killed it on the track overall the production is very very solid and i cannot wait to hear this track live this summer good and then next we got the man tiesto with quite the banger and it's called lay low and it's a tiesto vip mix might i mention quite the rager i like the singing on here a lot it's really good the great use of some white noise in here as well to really bring in the you know the excitement and fullness into the dynamic into the mix for this drop specifically uh yeah this is this will kill it in the crowd for sure uh this is a goodie and then we got hardcore band gel with the track attainable i mean it's not bad but i mean I would have wanted a little bit more push, a little bit more, you know, you know, create a spectrum on here as this is just like another like short adrenaline Russian like hardcore song. But like, you know, it's just nothing really new or over the top. And again, it's hard hitting, but like no expansion. And then next we got some new tunes from Skrillex, this time teaming up with the Arabic singer Xena. And I really love the influences of Arabian folk on here. Really, really certain to my taste, as well as this sound where they were calls back to some of Skrillex's old styles in dance music, which I also really liked about it. Uh, I think overall, this is a pleasant sound. Um, I would have liked a little bit more something angelic, maybe a little bit more organic into the mix uh, to really match this vocalist, but it's still good. And then we got some Latin hits coming your way with Maluma and Mark Anthony teaming up on the track La Formula, dropping us some salsa caliente. And I really, really liked that. When Maluma really goes about and tapping into new, different influences into Latin music, I think he really tops the cake. Like, he's been really, really solid lately. I I've been liking some of the collabs that he's been doing with, especially with him and another. Uh, Grupo Frime. Uh, these guys just sound great together on here. Very traditional salsa music and just great singing all in all. A great instrumentation as well. It's a W. And then we got Pink Panthers with a second version of her song Boys a Liar, this time featuring hip hop contemporary Ice Spice. Uh, I really like this song as it is, you know. I just really don't think it was necessary to add a rap verse in the first place to the song. So, like, yeah, I didn't really care for Ice Spice on here, but like I said, it didn't need a rap verse at all. Maybe, if anything, a sung verse, but it just it's unnecessary on the song it doesn't work next we got indie rock band no vacation out with the track i will always and it's quite the fuse with some noise influences some shoegaze really diving into some of that old school shit you know my my bloody valentine type shit cockatoo twins type shit that kind of stuff um and it's great it, it seriously sounds amazing on here it was surely a pleasurable play and one i highly recommend to you and then we got rapper glorilla dropping us the new track internet trolls is the title i unfortunately did not care for this one uh this beat to me it's muddy it's definitely a muddy mix the performance wasn't so much of a wow factor to me either it sounded just like it needed to be you know a, a, a want to make it rather than a need if that makes sense it just didn't really sound like they really cared to make this song I'm just not a fan of it. all right and then i want to talk about this new charlie jordan single charlie is a fairly new dj into the edm world i'd say uh primarily a model if you're familiar with charlie um, you know, I've seen clips of her live performance, though, and uh, before I believe I seen her performance at Lollapalooza, I'm pretty sure I did. So uh, from from my memory, from what I remember from her of seeing her live performances, not terrible. She's actually a pretty decent DJ. I am not really here for the vocal performance on the song, and the song is called No Longer Mine, by the way. Uh, it just didn't really sound good with this mix at all. I, it just, it wasn't, there was things that she did with the processing that was cool, but like the instrumental also just has me on and off um, on some points. Some points it is pretty decent though. Like, but with that first drop, I thought it was just kind of ugly. I didn't really think it worked well. It, it really needed some extra work put into it, at least with like some of the songwriting on here. But, you know, I think she'll definitely get better as she comes out with more and more tunes and as she is more invested into being a DJ producer. So we'll see. And next we got Logic with the new track, his second of the year, and the title is High Life. There is something about the melodies that really hit into this song, specifically with the chorus that hits really hard. But I feel like the transitioning into it for the first time it's a bit awkward. It doesn't really feel so smooth nor cohesive. Um, it's just like it's unannounced, but it's not like a pleasant surprise, if that makes sense. Uh, more so like this is just that one that was just like pretty weird. It really did feel weird going into it, but I think overall it's decent. All right, then we got rappers Malokate and Snoop Dogg with the track out and it's called No and it is not 
not good. It's not good. It's very bland, boring, dull, generic. <laughs> then we got Steve Aoki teaming up with Latin pop group Sincio to the track Diferente. Honestly, it is really nice. It's got some like sweetness to it. It's very creamy. You know, I love CNCO as well too. They really sound great on here. They're a great uh, Latin pop group if you're not familiar with it. And I think Stevie Oki isolated them really well in this one. R really great utilization. It's a good song. And then we got Carolina Polachek out with a new song. It's called Blood and Butter. And I love this one. It's got some crazy, crazy good instrumentation on here. Great variations with the instrumentals as well. This sounds so exotic. It's like some kind of like futuristic like jungle mix to me. That's where I'm really, that's where I'm getting when it comes to the setting placed into this track. The singing is absolutely stunning on here. And it's quite good. I am really digging this one. It's good. Then we got some new EDM from Ecoli. The title is called Purity. Really neat drop sequence. Um, I felt the verse passages didn't really give me that, you know, that same impression at moments, but it's a clean mix overall. So I'll give them points for that. It's overall okay. And then we got rapper Icy Twat with the Drac Stop Trying to Be Like Me. This is such a knockoff of Playboy Cardi. It, it's it's so obvious. Like it's overdriven beat, the ad libs, the mumble rapping. <laughs> And then we got an alternative R&B track out from Petite Noir and Stand for the Great called Blurry. The chorus, you know, it blends together really nicely, and I'm kind of underwhelmed with the singing overall from these two. I really thought it'd be a lot more better, a lot more lush, but it's kind of, I didn't really feel like it hit home for me. Not terrible, but not for me. And then we got pop punk band from the Burbs Real Friends out with the track Six Feet. It reminds me a lot of Next Deep's work. And maybe even a little bit of story so far on there. Just a, just a little hint, a little sprinkle of that on there. Vocally, at least. That's where I'm kind of getting about. Um, but I don't know. I think overall, it's okay. I don't really see myself revisiting this that much. But the music playing on here is well done. And um, I, I think Pop Buck fans, real friends, uh, fans will like this song. So do what you will with it. And then we got some new R&B from you from Ellie Ma. And the title is This Is. Super duper lush and sweet singing on this track. This chorus is absolutely fire. The instrumental, it's got some problems. I don't think it really keeps up with much of the, you know, the lushness and, you know, just in terms of, like, how vivid it is. How I just feel like the, these, like, piano stats specifically, they just feel so out of place. And they just don't feel like they're done at all. It really feels half-baked. But other than that, uh, the instrumental being undermining for the finish, uh, Ella sounds great. And I think it deserves the yellow for this one. And then next, we got Acoustic Balladry with Rachel Chinariri on the song Maybe I'm Lonely. Indie pop singer, if you're not familiar with her, now you know. Uh, this is just a yet another banger. Like, this is just some Phoebe Bridgers type shit. Like, it is beautiful. It's so gentle. It's so beautiful. It's a breath of fresh air. I think I should just killed it. Rachel Chinariri does it again. And then we got a new drop from Dreamville featuring artist Jid and Lou on My Boy. Accompanied by some choir vocalists, some hard-hitting drums, 808s, you know, you know, you get the gist of where it's coming from. It, it truly embraces that niche that Dreamville really embarks. Um, but however, I am a bit on the neutral side for this one. Um, I think overall, it's a decent hip-hop track, but I just didn't really connect with it like how I assumed I would. I really thought I would. I've been really digging Dreamville stuff, and Jid on here, come on, man, I've been loving Jid. I've been talking so much praise about him lately. Uh, he's just so great, but I think you should still check this one out for yourself. And then we're going to be ending off this video with Slipknot's Bone Church. If you're not familiar, this was the track that I chose to react to this week. So be sure to go check out that video right after this one. So get my full breakdown of the video and my full thoughts and opinions on it right after that. I, I'm here. I will give it the rating green. I think overall it's very satisfying and it gave me what I wanted to hear from them. So it's good. Make sure to click on that video after this. And that is it for this week's singles of the week, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, go to like, share, and comment down below. And if you're not already, subscribe to the channel to help us grow. And don't forget down in the description, you see all the links for the tracks that I talked about in this video and all the links to my social media accounts so you can keep up with me on the daily. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Deuces.